Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. This is Jerry from Backcountry Ranch, and today is the day that I've been looking forward to for a long time. And this is the day where we start painting the DIY Overland trailer. This is my last day off. Then I head her back to work for five days. Then I'm off for five. So I want to get at least one color painted today. And then on my next set of days off, I'm going to finish painting it up. And on my next set of days off, we're going to finish this trailer so we can start going out and enjoying it and using it for what it's supposed to be used for. It's got everything lined up here. Got the gun, Raptor liner, this is the tintable kind, Virgin gun wash, Sure Wipe, which is to wipe down the panels for paint it, that's the hardener. And Raptor liner is really as simple to spray. There's nothing complicated about it. So one of the lessons I learned the first time is don't mix the tint inside there and then the hardener because it's not going to go over well mix it up in your tote add the hardener and then pour it in the container as you need it and always have some virgin gun wash in the container because as you're spraying it you're going to need to clean it out because uh, over time when you're spraying it starts to get clogged up and your gun spray should be between 40 to 70 psi so this is the color I've chosen. It's called Electric Green. I believe that's what it's called. PGL Chrysler Electric Lime Green. However, we'll see how it turns out once it's mixed with the Raptor Liner. So now to give you the color scheme, Toolbox is going to be green. Side of the door, that's going to be green. Fenders are going to be green. And then coming over here, to the back and then this whole back except for the bottom there is going to be green and then of course once that's all done got to remove the masking remask it and then everything else is going to be black and I think that's going to turn out pretty sharp originally I had planned to paint match at the same color as my TJ However, that kind of fell through. There's some issues I need to take care of. One of them being I really don't want to be towing a trailer, especially around hills with my TJ on 35s. I did order, or tried to order, a big brake kit from the States. I tried to order from Black Magic. They said they don't ship to Canada. And then Savvy Off-Road offered the kit, and they had a shipping option to Canada. So I said, oh, great, I'm going to get these brakes now. I went to order the 17-inch brakes. Whole kit, master cylinder, new knuckles, everything else. Ordered it and then refunded. They refunded it because they said they don't ship to Canada at this time. So really the only option I have being in Canada is try to do the WJ knuckle swap and then go with larger brakes. But I just spent a lot of money on steering. I don't want to do over the top steering and rebuy all new steering. So I'm kind of stuck in that dilemma. I need to do some more research on that subject. But for right now, let's start getting this panel wiped down. And then we can start getting the paint ready to mix. And we can get the show on the road because I'm pretty excited to get this done so I could head out. Wiping down the panels. Actually, really simple. This sure wipe just removes any grease. Soak our rag right there. Pretty straightforward. You can see right there, there's a lot of dirt on there. So we might have to wipe the panel down a couple times. Soon, be no more school bus yellow. Can't wait. I don't know what's with this cloth, man. This stuff is like, I dropped on the ground, so it's useless now, but the paint, it's not sticky to touch, but seems like uh, a lot of friction when you have the cleaning solvent on it, if you're picking up, oh, ah, yeah, just got me in the knee of the hitch, shut her down, shut her down. The curse lives on. There we go. That's wiped down. See how that rubber coats. I got POR 15 on the front from the rust. All right, looking good. 
So now we're gonna take a Raptor liner, we're gonna shake it up inside the container first, and we're gonna pour it into here, and then with the paint, and then I got my mix stick. We're gonna start mixing it, then when we're ready, we're gonna dump the hardener in. Stuff all comes out kind of an opaque type color. That should be enough. Got our color. Shake it up. We're gonna dump that in there. All right, take our stir stick. Start mixing it. Cause if you don't mix it properly, you're gonna start getting white streaks. Starting to look pretty good there. Gonna take about half of this hardener. Mix it in. Grab my stir stick again. Well, I need to go for a road trip. I need to pick up another another container to spray this down. The toolbox is not coating as good as I thought. Same with this side door. The fender with the black actually turns out all right. I think I'm just gonna leave the fenders as is because I like that kind of black and green tint. Well, I can't really see this, but I need to go for a quick rip and pick up some more paint. I think one more container shall do me good. And maybe I should just get two just in case. I have to park the JK in the back because they were street cleaning today. Need to run the Cabela's tonight, but I'll take the TJ. All right, I'm gonna get some more Raptor liner now and be on my way. All right, get to go. I got two more containers, but one will definitely do it. Raptor liner dries extremely fast. <clears throat> Actually, the door turned out pretty good I really like the outlook of the fender because you can still see like the black behind so it kind of pops out a bit and then coming to the back here there's still a little bit of work to do on this back section yet so and that fender as well yeah definitely one more we'll do her up do her up good stir sticks full bottle extra this but I got that all right let's get this done There's the tintable stuff in its purest form.
need my safety goggles. So now it comes for the time for the good, the bad, and the ugly. I got to paint it green. Had a lot of issues, mainly because this was plugged up. I had to clean the tube out, and inside the gun itself was all plugged up. I think it'll be good to go for the black, but uh, it was not spraying good at all. It was, it was so bad that instead of ruining the second bottle, I ended up putting a bunch of reducer in it, and I was able to spray it that way. Otherwise, it was not going anywhere. So, but it did turn out okay. As you can see, toolbox looks all right. I wish I would have painted the toolbox black first and then sprayed it. Would have turned out a lot better. We got the side door here, which is green. Fenders, which are black, and I painted over top, are now green. Then I painted the back green, and then everything else that's still aluminum will be sprayed in black. The sides will be black. Of course, all the armor front will be blocked but that's on my next set of days off got a lot of masking to do but I think I can make it happen the sooner I can get this project finished the better there's only one part in the paint where I can see that's screwed up pretty bad as you can see it on this fender here it's almost like white lines and that could have been from the paint not mixed properly. That's the only thing. There's a couple ways I could deal with this. I don't want to mix up a full thing of paint, but I might uh, might get that paint mixed up in a spray can and then spray it on top. And then I can even it out. I'll do it on both fenders. That's what I can do. So I took the TJ for a quick rip to Cabela's to get some things. One of the things I was looking at is battery-powered lantern because camp fuel for the Coleman lantern stove is getting pretty expensive. But I ended up buying shoes. I bought the Coleman lantern rechargeable. And I bought this super nifty little butcher knife that I'm going to be pumped to try out when I'm out camping. All right, welcome back. Well, for me anyways, just finished my five shift rotation. I'm in the garage, starting to mask out the trailer. They're gonna paint the black. Hopefully we're not gonna have any issues this time. I thoroughly clean this out. If we have any issues, I have to go to Global Auto Body Supply tomorrow and I can pick up a new spray gun there. But at least all else fails, I can get one bottle sprayed tonight. Possibly tomorrow if the gun is hooped. Because uh, I need to pick up some more green in a spray can now because I have an idea. I've already painted the diesel tank black. And then I'm going to spray the green over top because I really like the way the green pops when it's sprayed over top of the black. Anyways, I'm going to mask this out so I can get ready to paint this black so that the true colors can finally emerge. Got everything masked off. I need to do window wiped down with solvent this is going to be the game changer right here get this block on and it's going to make the trailer look like a million dollars got the black raptor liner right there basically since we're not uh mixing in a container just got to put some gun wash in here and then we need to fill the hardener up to that line there and then we should be ready to spray
I got two bottles on there right now. I'm gonna shoot a third one. So this is where I'm at. I'm not finished yet. I'm buying some paint and I'm just going to paint the toolbox and the fenders. It's already got the Raptor liners. It's already got the roughness, but I'm just gonna get that color paint and then spray it. And hopefully it should coat better because I don't like the way that it coated, but just with some pure paint, it should be all right. But I do like the way that it turned out. I think it looks a hundred times better than school bus yellow. Another beautiful day out. I just got the new fuel tank right there. Painted black. I gotta spray it with some Raptor liner. That being said, the rest of it's not going to be sprayed. I had to go pick up some things today. So I had a trailer light out. And it's just a bulb inside there, but they don't make them so that they're serviceable. They're basically throw away, so from Princess Auto. Picked up a new light. That'll plug that will plug right in. Picked up a new lock. And then from Home Depot. I got this microfiber roll pad that when I mix the Raptor liner, I'm just gonna roll it on because I don't wanna get over spray because you can see right here, I masked out, but I screwed up. So I'm gonna roll her that, roll her the fenders. That one's not too bad actually, but that one there is a different story. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Got the fuel tank up top, paint it. I did use the roller and the roller on the deck lid worked really well to take out the overspray. I did put it thick on the fender, but I could not get rid of those white streaks. This green does not coat very well, unfortunately. So. It is what it is, but the painting's done. Can't wait to get it outside to really have a look at it, but it looks sharp, but I think it's motherfucking beer time. Got a greasy old Pilsner here. All right, shut it down, motherfucking beer time. Cold beer sure feels good. <sighs> feels like summer. But we're not even at summer yet. Weather's weird here. We go from winter to summer. And from summer to winter. No fall, no spring. It's all or nothing. Getting closer. I think just one more video. Do all the odds and ends. And uh, we're going to be hitting the road. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care. Oh, yeah. Shut her down. Shut her down.